Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone enjoyed the Halloween DIYs video. I decided to make another one and I'm going to show you three Halloween DIYs that you can enjoy. So if you want to see how to make this, just keep on watching. All right, let's get started with our first DIY. You're going to pick up some wire that bends. So, I mean, make sure it bends, but I got mine from Walmart. It's a 20 gauge galvanized steel wire. So, you can get your wire anywhere, but mine was $2 at Walmart. You can find this in the electrical section. Also, you're going to need some pliers to cut the wire with. The third thing for this DIY. You're gonna pick up a bouquet of flowers of your choice. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I really liked it because it had these really cute eyeballs in here, and I just loved that effect. Also, it had these cute like sparkles on the actual rose petal. And then I love these spiders here that it also comes with, so I just thought that was a really cool effect. The third thing you're going to need for this project is just a skull vase or a skull head of some sort. I got this from Gordman's and it came with this um, screw on lid. I just took that out. The first thing we're going to do, and I'm just demonstrating here, I'm getting some wire and you're going to want a good amount of wire because we're going to double up on this wire. So you're going to start by twisting the wire all the way through here. We're actually going to twist both sides of the wire all the way down. And what we're creating is a barbed wire crown for our skull or head of choice. I mean you can use a mannequin in this project if you want to use maybe a mannequin head you have left over from like beauty school or something like that. So we're just gonna keep twisting and twisting and we're gonna do this until we get all the way down to the bottom of our wire. And after we're done here, I'll just kind of hurry up and pretend we're done creating the actual crown part. We're gonna cut off another piece of wire about two inches long and then we're going to put this new piece of wire around the wire we just wrapped so we're gonna actually wrap this little piece around three to four times and then make sure that your points are kind of sticking in opposite direction kind of if that makes sense so you can create as many of these as you want and here is the piece I finished. As you can see I made a whole bunch of these little pieces around the entire crown to give that barbed wire effect. And I really like the way this turned out. And a tip is to hot glue the tips of your barbed wire so you don't scratch or poke yourself when you are attaching this on the head. It also won't scratch up the glass as well. Put the glue right here I can kind of show you right there just on the tip we're gonna put the hot glue right there and then we're gonna actually hot glue it directly on to the head in place just like this once we are done with that we're gonna just go ahead and put in our bouquet of flowers and that's why you're supposed to hot glue it I'm just kind of showing you what it would look like and we are done for this project all right, for this second DIY, you're gonna need a can of black spray paint, and you can get this in matte or gloss, whichever preference. You're gonna need an empty bottle. This is an old wine bottle I had. I just used some oil. You can use peanut butter or grapeseed oil, any kind of oil to wipe off your label that you're trying to wipe off. Then I got a pack of these labels. I got them at Meyer. I think you can get them at Target or Michaels, Joanne Fabrics. So just pick up a pack of those. It should come with plenty of these different designs. And then you're going to need some sort of candle. I chose this orange one to kind of go with the Halloween theme. 
So the first thing we're going to do is spray paint our bottle. I recommend roughing up the glass first, but you don't have to. So here I've got a finished spray painted bottle. It's dried and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and stick our label onto the bottle. So first you want to position like exactly where you want to place the label and then we will peel off the back of this and this is actually a sticker label that is why I liked purchasing this instead of making my own but you are more than welcome to make your own labels um, just print off something from Google and use Mod Podge or some kind of glue even spray glue and voila you have your own label that you've created they have plenty of free ones online just Google Halloween apothecary jar labels and you will find plenty of free ones I'm now peeling the back off and I'm gonna try to find the center of my bottle and I'm gonna choose the smoothest side of the bottle so I'm gonna go with this side and now I'm finding like where the lines are from the natural glass when it was made putting my fingers there so I know that this is the center and I'm just kind of eyeballing right where I want it and before I stick it all the way down I just make sure the center is lined up and it's straight now that we're done with this I have two ready to go so you can see both of these I really like both of these labels so I chose these ones for today's project the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our candle and then right around the base here about two to three inches up I'm gonna break it and cut the wick and then we're gonna have a shorter candle basically just make sure that the candle fits into the top of the bottle you're gonna shove the candle down inside of it make sure it doesn't go all the way down inside of it we're gonna light the candle just for a few seconds to kind of give that it's been used look let the candle wax drip onto itself also taking the lighter and we're going to go around the base just a little bit here to kind of melt some of the wax and then we're going to use the remaining part of the other part of the candle and we're going to light that and drip it directly over the kind of bottom area right here and you can see that it'll leave like these little marks that I just absolutely love and it give that eerie look effect all right moving on to our last project for the day here um, I picked up two picture frames and then I got two greeting cards these were 50 cents each so this was a really good buy because I only spent three dollars on making these so literally all we're gonna do here is open up our picture frame and once we have that opened we're going to go ahead and take off the backing here and we're gonna save everything except this white piece of paper so let's get rid of that take out the glass put it back in don't really need to take it out all the way I guess technically then we will grab our greeting card of choice I actually chose these two because they were pictures and words and they didn't have too many like happy Halloween or boo or something like that it just said like one word with a picture which I really thought was cool after you pop it in we're gonna turn it face down flat and make sure our card is lined up in the center exactly where we want it and then we're going to play carefully place the backing on and then we will push down our metal pieces here and do it kind of roughly hard but not too hard that you're going to crack the glass and then voila that's literally it and we have a really cute picture I went with a black frame on the sides here you can see I just thought it looked really nice with the silver lining in the middle there and then we'll go ahead and do the second frame here
and here is the finished result. I really like the way this turned out and it was super easy, very affordable. I'm pretty sure if you went to Target or Meijer, you would probably spend at least $5 on these frames. There you have it. Here are my complete projects on display here. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I would really appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up and go down and click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my next videos. 